Hello everyone, my name is Elvira Rakova and I'm a founder of Directing. Today I would like to show you how to start using our EasyCast software. It is software for the design optimization of compressed air systems. With this uh, EasyCast you can create uh, complex diagrams and uh, enjoy optimization within a few minutes. Uh, it's free to use, free to download, uh, so I encourage you to go and try it uh, on. To download the software, you need to go to the RG Movement platform, uh, become a member there. So just log in using your uh, email. So it will take about two or three minutes. And after this, you can download it. And now I would like to show you how to download our software and how to start using it. So please go on rgmovement.com. Uh, here you have the file share, so it's basically easy cast. Uh, be sure that you are logged in, so you just can easily create the profile. So if you are not a member, just go into the login, uh, sign up here. Uh, since I'm already a member, <laughs> I just gonna use my email and after that you will be able to see the software here. So go ahead and download and after you download, you will get the uh, the archive, unarchive the folder and click twice on uh, exe file. So after you click twice, you actually already can uh, open. So after you uh, open the, the software, so let me show you how the manipulation with the components uh, work here. So you can just uh, open the new uh, screen and here we have the generic database of the components. I use, uh, for example, source as the generic component of um, compressor. Here you can scale it so you can uh, zoom in, zoom out. Uh, you can also rotate or mirror the component. You can multiply it, so copy it or delete it. So please use this panel here. Each component also has an ID. And this ID will be used in, uh, further ahead with, for some complex projects. So here we have, for example, other components such as air reservoir. We have the um, exhaust uh, when it's uh, required, of course, uh, some blowing tubes, uh, blowing guns, connectors, uh, cylinders, filter regulators, leaks, pipes, uh, and so on. Uh, regulators, throttles, tubes, valves, so all the components that you basically need for to start to begin with the optimization of compressed air systems. And um, here uh, in uh, black, uh, we see that, for example, I want to choose one. Uh, this is the this is the valve, and here green is always input, uh, red is output, and yellow it's the connectors that are usually connected to. Uh, lines that are not, shouldn't be calculated. For example, in this case, we need uh, this part for, and this is going to be uh, exhaust. So in this valve, everything comes from the uh, catalog. So everything is in black. I cannot change those parameters, but for some components, I actually can change. So I need to parameterize them. Uh, for example, in uh, case of a reservoir, I need to know the emptying time, delta P, and so on. So uh, then we have the optimization criteria and also units. So go ahead and change it to liter per minute, uh, PSI, uh, tons, or anything else. This is the basic manipulation that you can do with the components. And now I want to show you how to create a more complex schemes and, and diagrams. So uh, I prefer to use it without the grid. This was one of the projects that we've been asked um, to check uh, the um, uh, design of the compressed air system. So we just uh, drag and dropped the components here. Here is my favorite components that called consumer. It's a very generic one. So go on to the basic elements, choose the consumer and consumer, it is the element that has a flow and a certain pressure level, required pressure level. So after this, uh, we go into the input parameters and we put the pressure at the compressor room, uh, the compressed air cost, uh, how long the system operates. For example, it's 
12 hours a day and 300 days a year. Uh, we also put the normal pressure, the atmospheric pressure, you can calculate it to below uh, water or also in the space, electricity cost and also carbon intensity. So you can just use the um, uh, electricity map uh, to choose the country you're calculating and put this coefficient to see what are the uh, carbon emissions are associated with. Then uh, go ahead and press and calculate. After this, uh, one important thing I forgot to mention, optimization criteria, it's the maximum available pressure drop over a component. Of course, half a bar is too much, so let's put 0 0.2. And now we have uh, this. And um, the program calculates required pressure level at the compressor, required flow rate, also the electricity consumption, and CO2 emission. I want it in tone. Yeah, now makes sense. Great. Uh, after this, uh, you can actually copy this uh, system and start optimizing it. So here I have uh, two system copied and I'm optimizing it. And here now, uh, because I want don't want to uh, work on the demand side, I just want to check the design. So I need to go and check the pressure drops and the system tells me, listen, here delta P is very high. So 1.7 bar, it's a lot. To avoid this uh, pressure drop, you need to ch uh, choose the pipe diameter at least with this diameter. And then I go into the database and change it. So now I change the pipe tube. Let me just show you also here. So here I need 40, I have 50 available. I can make it a little bit more pretty. So I just um, rotate the component. And if I click twice, it automatically adjusts here. So uh, step by step, just go ahead and change every component uh, that uh, program suggests you to change. And here it's already changed the uh, diagram and the compressor cost a lower pressure that I need here if I optimize actually my system is uh, 6.4 bar resulting in the lower emission and resulting in the lower consumption. This is the basic uh, steps. The first very simple one, how you can start using direct and easy cast software. Uh, another manipulation, I want to show you the text. Go ahead, create here a text. Uh, click on create new, put it here. And then you will have created text. Uh, and you can delete it. In the next videos, I'll show you how to calculate the demand side, how to parameterize those components and uh, to get maximum from your compressed air system.